Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you for watching Culver TV and RTC TV4. I'm Justin Croy. Joined alongside me tonight is going to be Mr. Josh Pugh on stats is going to be Miss Callie Kidd on camera, Mr. Tyler Siddall. And also helping uh, produce the game is going to be Miss Megan Pearl. And back in the studio, I want to send a big shout out to Mr. Steve Stricker and the whole RTC TV4 team for helping to produce today's broadcast. This broadcast was brought to you by the students of Culver Community High School's radio and TV course in partnership with RTC TV4. We appreciate you joining us tonight on our second broadcast of the evening, and we hope that you found your way to this link. Tonight's game is going to feature teams with similar or I should say exact records. Both teams come into tonight's game at 1-1 one one for their third game of the season. The Lakeland Christian Cougars, 1-1 one one under second-year head coach Jake Ritchie. Last season, they ended in a heartbreaker against Southwood, 44-69 in the sectional championship. So far this year, 60-56 versus Caston, and they lost to Bethany Christian 42-62. On the other side, for the Cavs, 1-1 one one under second-year head coach Kyle Evans. He's 53 and 113 in his eighth-year coaching total. 7-16 last season in his first year here at Culver. Offensively, very similar teams. Defensively, not so much. Offensively, the Cavs are at 50 and a half points average per game. 51 points for Lakeland Christian. Defensively, Lakeland Christian's allowing 59 points. The Cavs are off uh, are allowing 45 and a half points per game. So we'll see how these two teams match up. Culver's first game against Rochester did not go so well, 40 to 61, and they absolutely spanked West Central 80 to 31 in a barn burner in uh, at West Central. So, as we come in, in tonight's game, five minutes left here in the warm-up. We had the opportunity before tonight's game to talk with head coach of the Cavaliers, Mr. Kyle Evans. He joined us on the previous game's broadcast. But after school, I had the opportunity to sit down with Coach Evans, or uh, interview Coach Evans, I should say. And he talked a little bit about what it's going to take to win tonight's game. Let's talk once again with Coach Kyle Evans, head coach to the Culver Community Cavaliers. Coach, what's the key tonight to defeating the Cougars? Uh, well, we're going to have to contain their guards. They've got three really solid guards. Um, they got a big kid in the post, 6'4", 6'5". They'll battle uh, with our size, so it's a tough matchup for us. We've got to contain them. We've got to rebound. Um, and we've got to continue to be efficient offensively, shoot a high percentage. Um, if we can do those things without turning the ball over, it'll be a good game. So from the first game of the year to the second game of the year, it's kind of been an emotional roller coaster. Um, at, you know, after Rochester, things weren't looking the greatest, but then you get a huge blowout win against West Central. Uh, as you've kind of rode that roller coaster this year, where, where are you at now emotionally, and where's the team at emotionally? Um, my expectations are to go out and compete every ball game. So Rochester was tough from the standpoint of felt like we did things right most of the time. We just couldn't hit a shot. Um, and the complete opposite was Central. We turned them over. We shot high clip, hit 11 threes. And, uh, I mean, that's the difference. We can be either really, really fun to watch or it can get ugly. And Rochester was ugly. West Central was fun. So, you know, if we can contain or if we can maintain a – uh, a good balance and and be consistent every night. You know we'll have a chance every game. Uh, personnel wise, who has to be on in order to make a difference for the Cavs? Everybody, everybody. We got to have all nine guys give us something. Um, you know, scoring wise, uh, Emiliano has been unreal. He's averaging I'm about 25 a game through two, um, shooting the ball really well. Mason Herbert's finally coming around, hitting some shots. Had 14 the first half against West Central. Um, and then we have a bunch of other guys that are steady, just eight, nine points there. And, um, you know, our juniors combined for 60 points the other night. Um, that's, that's a huge contribution. And then you have, have other seniors like Austin Zaner who, who pumped out 17 rebounds and Jalen King scored 11. Uh, Marquez had five or six points. So if we can get a little bit of something out of everybody, uh, that's, that's my expectation. 
All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, one, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, once again. That was Coach Evans you heard there in today's pregame interview. Once again, thank you so much to Coach Evans for doing the girls' game with us the first half and for sitting down with us after school today to talk about uh, tonight's game. So as I said, both teams enter tonight's contest with a record of 1-1. One and one. Tonight I'm going to be joined alongside Culver Community High School, Middle School, Assistant Principal, Mr. Josh Pugh, is going to be helping me call tonight's game. Coach, how are you doing today? Hello, everyone. I'm doing great. Ready for some basketball. Second game of the night. Well, it was an exciting first game, for sure. Oh, absolutely. It's always nice to see the Cavs do good things there to work towards that win. And, and it wasn't a great first quarter. But... Uh, no, after an uh, extremely slow start, the uh, Cavs got it going. A uh, big offensive spark from Rose Peterson. And then got some really good contributions off the bench to uh, let them pull ahead in the second half and hold on. Absolutely. And we, we played a clip from, uh, from Coach Evans earlier in the day. And, you know, he talked about uh, some certain people that needed to step up for this ball team and, uh, and put them on the path to victory. Big thing for Coach this year is, is offensive boards. Uh, and he's, as a team, they're working towards that. But even before the season, he sat down with RTC and he talked about a couple guys, and he kept bringing this name up, Mono Ortiz, and how Mono needs to get a little bit more aggressive with the basketball on the offensive side. And so far this year, after challenging him to do that, Mono has stepped up and done an absolutely fantastic job, a great job of scoring there. No, oh, absolutely. He had, a, uh, he had a huge night Tuesday at uh, West Central. Um, got a lot of points going towards the basket. I think he ended up with over 30 Tuesday night. So uh, that's got to be a big confidence builder for him in terms of just getting in the flow of a new season. Um, so we'll see. Uh, uh, Lakeland Christian brings some big bodies in the paint tonight. So uh, that'll be a little challenging for Mono to get in there and bounce around, but uh, we'll see how cagey he can be. Absolutely. And uh, we're going to go ahead and give you your starting lineups here as the last 20 seconds rolls off the clock here. First for the visiting Lakeland Christian Cougars, it's going to be number 14, Seth Martin. He's a junior. Seth's probably their best player. He likes to attack off the drive, things, things of that nature. Um, and then there's going to be number 22, Pete Kohler. Uh, you know, he, he's their role guy. He'll attack off the dribble. Uh, he can shoot the deep ball as well. He's a senior. Also a senior, number 24, Hunter Rice. He, uh, he's a guy, he's a physical defender. He'll shoot the three. Uh, very good basketball player. Number 34, Landon Goss. He will be a senior. He's a shooter. He'll shoot from deep. Uh, you can't really give him any space. That's one of the guys that you walk up. And uh, make sure you have a hand in his face. And then at number 40, Silas Gangnan. He, uh, he'll step out, shoot the three as well. He's a very, very good re rebounder. Uh, he, he's all, uh, all about that shoulder in the post and does a great job getting up on guys. So it'll be interesting to see tonight. Now the starting lineup for your Culver Community Cavaliers. The junior, number four, Ethan Keller. The junior, number 12, Emiliano Ortiz. We talked about him. Uh, Coach, uh, Coach Evans talked about him today as well, about uh, making sure that, uh, that he's definitely aggressive with the ball. Number 32, Mason Herbert, a junior. Doing a great job for the Cavs. Definitely a, a big defensive player. And, and we lost that defensive player this past year uh, in... Um, Braxton, Braxton Conley. Conley. Yeah, yeah that's, sorry. I, I saw him here today. He's standing yeah, right he over, is there. over there. Today, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was trying, it, it escaped my mind. So, um, Mason's done a great job of stepping up to that role and filling that defensive position. Seniors for the Cavs, number 20, Jalen King, pure athleticism. Uh, he's starting the game for the Cavs. He's quick, he's fast, he can move, and he can surprise you uh, at any time. And then in the post, number 45, Marquez Anderson, big body, big tight end type guy, gets up 
uh, gets up there and looks to be aggressive. So it'll be an interesting game tonight. We will see here how things just from uh, obser observing you know, Lakeland coming out of the huddle here. They didn't list uh, heights on their roster for us tonight, but you know, they're going to start two guys in that 6'3 to 6'5 range, so Marquez and uh, Mason are going to have their hands full. Absolutely. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The ball's up. Well, we talked about that athleticism yeah, by there uh, it is. who you just saw it there. Guy had four inches on you. Yeah. Culver's going to run an open look. You're not going to see a lot of post players tonight on the block for, for the Cavs. They're going to have a lot of guys around the perimeter. A lot of focus on those movements, those yep. cuts. We'll see. There we go. There's Mono in and the he lane. looks to pass. Yep. Uh, Lakeland Christian's going to play man-to-man. -man. That's, that's kind of their thing, uh, boys and girls both. Um, they're going to play good, hard man-to-man. Great -to -man. baseline drive yep. there by Ortiz Emiliano Ortiz. Cavs going to show some pressure right out of the gate. Get a tip and a turnover. Give it and right a, back. And a turnover. Yeah, and a turnover. That's all right. That's, uh, that, and throw, a turnover. Yeah. I think Cavs are going to want this game to be fast-paced. Well, we get an offensive foul. Jalen King was flying down there. And uh, get a player control foul on the block. This crew... They have a, a new gentleman there on the far side of the court, but they they had a third guy, and I can't think of his name, but th these guys have been working the game for a long time, very experienced officials. We've had them a lot here uh, over the past 10 to 15 years, and, and uh, I can't really think of any major issues. So. No, these guys will do a good job. Oh. Stolen by Shane yeah. Schumann back to Emiliano Ortiz. He'll look to, a, to take it to the bucket. He's up, no good. And they will get another offensive foul. They're, they're not letting guys be aggressive coming in late there. No, that was Schumann coming in late, getting over the top of somebody. Two quick team fouls on the Cavs, but they're both aggressive fouls. I don't think Coach Evans will be upset with that. Quick shot by Lakeland Christian. And an offensive rebound. Oh, there's a turnover. Ethan Keller with it at the free throw line. Coach Evans wanting Cavs to push. Oh, oh wow. wow. Nah, that one. That's. That was a good sell. Yeah. It was a good sell. Coach Evans might be in the same spot he was in against West Central, but by accident, on purpose this time. <laughs> yeah. Good aggressive move by Mono. Just extended the arm. Oh, here's the big man stepping back for three. Step back for Zone three good. there. Martin's oh. going to turn it over. Yep. Good offensive rebound. Quick turnover. Silas Gangden was the was the three point. It, or, yeah. Marquez Anderson with it on the wing. Mason Herbert for three. No good. I can't now. <laughs> oh, there's a turnover by the Cavs looking to get it in the post. There's some people that were saying that uh, the game wasn't live. And, oh. I, and I said, we, we had a switch from a different league. We mentioned it about 15 times oh, last game. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yep. we, we, we All the... We're going to get a travel. I think it would have been either over and back or a travel there. All of our games get posted on the IHSAA network, so keeping them separate is important. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure we post that second link. So to those of you that uh, that may be joining us a little bit late, welcome. 2-0 to zero here, 5.33 left in the first. Marquez Anderson for three, Anderson and it'll go. Deep three. That's a... Uh, kind of a new component of uh, Marquez's game this year. Last year we didn't see him step back and shoot that real often. This year he's looking to score the basketball a little more. Uh, really worked on his shot. Hunter Rice for three. three. Correction. That's Goss. Goss, Goss. Goss yeah. One of those two. This is a high ball screen by Shane Schumann. 
Great cut Ortiz by Emiliano. Yep. And he'll get the foul there. Probably on the body. And, uh, the intensity from boys basketball to girls basketball is just, it's just a, a totally different world. Yeah. He fouls on Hunter Rice. He was, uh, he was asking for that foul. He did not want that foul to go against uh, Seth Martin there. Well. Oh. So get a lane violation lane there violation. on that'll be on Mason Herbert yep. that'll take that first shot away if he was stepping on the line or I think he, they said he stepped out stepped out okay yeah. to Jalen King checking back into the game here Marquez Anderson getting a break free throw no good uh -oh. whoa ball over to rice yeah He'll pull up from about 20 foot, and that'll be good. good. Tie game, 5-5, five, five, 440 left in the first quarter. Cavs with it. Jalen King on the wing. Ball up top to Ethan Keller. We're going to see a lot of ball screens out of the Cavs. So. Mason Herbert thought about pulling the trigger there. Back I think that's the hesitation Keller. that Coach Evans keeps talking about. Is yeah. that he would love to see those guys make a decision. Either you're not going to yeah, shoot the ball exactly. or you're going to the rim or something. But yeah. we're, we're wasting time and possessions with yeah. indecisiveness. Good ball pressure by Ethan Keller there. Cavs in the extended 2 3 zone. It's going to be out the Gauss. three. No, no good. good there. The should man. get the. Yeah. Over well, the back on over Gagnon. Over the back on Gagnon. Is it Gagnon? I think you're right. I don't think so. Hmm. Mr. Lowry agrees. Just how it's spelled. Still 5-5. Uh, still five, five. Cavs getting See if we can take advantage of this action. mistake here. Here's Four Jaylen on five. King, King will go up. Bucket. Yep. Good finish at the rim. Allows the Cavs to get into their press. And now it's three on five. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's Gagnon on offensive rebound. Another one. <clears throat> Simple box out there would have prevented yeah, that. Just got to keep him off the glass. Back to a tie ball game. Ball up top with Keller. Cavs looking for a mismatch. Here's Mason for three. No good. Rebounding is going to be a key tonight. Uh, Lakeland Christian's big and long, and they're athletic. They're going to be able to jump, so boxing out is going to be a key. Are they a uh, men's volleyball school? Well, they don't play football, so it's potential. Um, they have a lot of soccer banners on the wall as well. So, right. and Shane there's... Schumann on the finish and a foul. That'll be on... Gagnon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, probably second on the big man. Oh. Gonna get uh, Micah Martin coming in the game yep. for the Cougars. Freshman checking in. We saw a little bit of uh, Micah last night in the JB game. He's a very athletic freshman. I like these double headers. I think these are. Mm -hmm. These are, especially when we have back-to-back -back days. I'd love to see that Rochester game be a double That would be a boys good one, and girls. Yeah. Reno Zaner on offensive rebound, clearing out. Ooh, going to get a travel call. I think the crowd, uh, yeah. the crowd made their opinion known there. <laughs> yep. Six fouls later, we have a travel. So. Let's see, Gagnon. Nope, Martin with the ball. Peter Kohler. And they're going to get Reno Austin on the, on the body. Yeah. He kind of got hooked there, but when you're Reno size, you don't move much when that guy hooks you. <laughs> Martin with the ball. Yeah. It's it over to Big Goss. Here. To Rice. Rice puts up the 15-foot. 
No good. It'll bounce around, and Shane Schumann will come up with it. Jalen King pull up from the baseline. No good. Cavs crashing the board, but they're going to get a uh, over the back, probably <laughs> on Schumann here. That'll be Austin Zaner's second We're foul in a matter of that one. Yep. a few minutes. So pick it on, uh, pick it pick on it a couple on the, guys today. Big man. Reno's going to come out. We got Mason Herbert and Joey Pizer coming in for his uh, first minutes. Joey was a guy against Rochester last time we were here. They got to play about three minutes because he had five fouls. He was a yeah. He, he got picked on he's, that game. Uh, he's extremely physical. Joey had uh, oh that could be a charge. Didn't get it. Gets his own rebound. <laughs> Joey had three fouls against in against West Central in ninety seconds the other night. Missed that last shot there. I was. Yeah. Um. There. Uh, uh, Martin had got his own rebound. Put that back. Here comes uh, Ethan Keller with it. Gets Mason Herbert. Where is on the, there uh, we go. Uh, not much complaint from the uh, yeah. Lakeland Christian bench there. I think they knew that was a foul. <laughs> Who's that? Number 22. That's yeah. Peter Kohler. He, he kind of gave the chest tap like, yep, yeah, that was me. Yep, yeah, I got it. It was in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> this is the uh, inbounds play for the Cavs. going to be triggered to the backcourt. Herbert with the ball. See, this is the high ball screen again. I think Coach uh, Coach Evans is just letting them play here. I don't yeah, know if they're. Say, I don't think uh, there's anything called. They're just yeah. ball movement. Guys you cutting, rotating. See a lot of uh, four and five out. You guys are going to move and adjust. There's Herbert. Oh, kind of a step in. Got fouled. Got a shot off. We should give him two here. That, rem that reminds me of a story that Coach Elliott used to tell about Stacy Stevens, how she would take a ball, power dribble real fast, get in front of some girl, wait for her to bump into her and just fall down and, yeah. and draw a foul just, yeah. just on purpose. He almost looked like he he shot that ball, uh, yeah. waited. Waited for contact, <laughs> then got it up. Oliver Morgan coming in uh, for the Cats, his first minutes. Let's say uh, – I think that that's a one thing Coach Evans is um, a big change from last year. Is he's nine or ten deep right now? Yeah, you know we we got a lot of guys to sit in. So they were all sitting up top in the upper deck before before the game, and they they stretched halfway up that first section. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's nice to have numbers. Steal by Ethan Keller to Jalen King. Yeah, I was wondering when a, that was going to get called. Going to get a, a hand call there. check. We'll see if uh, Coach Richie makes a sub here. Yeah. He's going to trust his. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, that one's <clears throat> unique. You don't we'll see, see a lot of offensive fouls with your back to the basket. Coach Evans is going to give uh, yeah. him a piece of his mind here. He'll look for an explanation. If, if it was a hook, it was it was one thing. But if it was a back to the basket, oh, there's Nathan. Oh. Can you get away with yelling at the official if you call him sir? <laughs> well, <laughs> either, I think it's the next word that it's the next word that determines that. Yeah, yeah there's the foul. The, that's the Joey Pizer special right there. <laughs> the, the the lean in with the shoulder. Got uh, 17 fouls on the Cavs. Going to put uh, going to put Lakeland at the line. This is what we've run into. Uh, first couple of games here is we have put our opponents in a bonus very early. Um, they've had the opportunity to shoot a lot of free throws in the first half. Was first one's good. Talking with Coach Evans uh, in halftime or before the, uh, or excuse me, in between quarters of the girls' game, and one of the things that he talked about, and we saw in the Rochester game, was the lack of the X stutter step travel being called. Yeah. I agree. They're the yeah. put the foot down or move, pick up the foot before the ball's down, or vice versa. And yeah. and uh, we haven't seen that much. And we were wondering if that's something that they called the dogs off on, or no? I, it's almost a, you wonder if that transitions as the season goes on, if that becomes a little quicker. Um, 
But and, you haven't seen it this year. I agree. It was a very common call in the past couple of years. This year it's not been. And we were just as guilty of it as Rochester was in that first oh, game. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It just, I, I, somewhat impressed by not calling it consistently. <laughs> yeah, that's well, going to be a yep. foul. Anytime you leave your feet there, yep. I don't know what we're looking surprised for here. but yep. it's, it's a good finish by Seth Martin. He's, uh, he's pretty good in the open floor. Averages of 16 points a game. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of on Jalen there. Jalen's going to leave his feet. He, he can't let him score. You, you, unfortunately, you need to get enough of him to not let him score there. And it's frustrating when you, when you see things like that. You know, we have got, it's the, there's 14 fouls called here in the first quarter. Yep. And they have almost all been from being undisciplined. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. And it, it's frustrating with yep. a, a group of guys. you got three seniors that are, that are athletes. Yep. And young guys that can step up. So. Yeah, and it is. And, it, and some of that comes with a little time. This is game three. But, yeah, there's there's another one. There's a uh, moving screen on Marquez Anderson. That's just one of those ones you can't have. You know, you lose an offensive possession. Uh, put us another step closer to the double bonus. Love seeing the emotion from Coach Evans. Yep. Good or bad. He gets after it. I like it. Eh, we're going to get a turnover there. Cavs get it back. Get one at one second on the clock. This will be interesting to see what we uh, get here, see if we can get something down the floor and a decent look from one second. Need a screen there. Yeah, Mason Herbert from there is okay. Shots Ooh. up. Oh, off the glass. Almost banked it home from 30 feet. So at the end of the first quarter, your score is going to be Culver 10, LCA 14. We'll be United right back. States. Nice. <laughs> we're back here. Your score, Culver 10, LCA 14, as we're about ready to begin the second quarter. And uh, it's been an interesting quarter. That was an interesting first quarter. A lot of intensity. I would you know, definitely say that uh, that the Cavs got out, out – uh, Played there a couple times, and calls didn't help either. But that you know that can't decide a game. No. Uh, and when I say outplayed, it looked like LCA took the ball to the, to the basket a little bit more aggressively, a little bit quicker, and Culver was out of position a few times and had to battle through some adversity from calls. But but uh, hey, the good news is the Lady Cavs didn't have a great first quarter either. That's right. We, we've been slow starters tonight. That's a good take to the hole there. Who's that? Hunter, Hunter Rice. Rice. Hunter Rice. Said he, he's a strong guard, big, strong kid. Um, Ball to Ortiz. Ortiz to Herbert. King on the cut. Get it back up top, swinging around. Jalen King doing a great job good of cutting. Look for Mason Herbert there. Three up and no good. Rebound by Gauze. There's a steal by the Cavs. Jalen King on the run. Mono Ortiz make a get decision. To the lane. Yeah, that's make a, that's a, a decision. That's probably one Coach Evans wants Mono to just shoot. You know, that's a that's a wide open 16 footer. Shoot the basketball, make or miss. You got a good look on that possession. Ends up in a turnover. Um, LCA with it coming back. Looking through the stands tonight, I'm looking at one section. And Rose, uh, Rose Peterson's performance of, uh, let me remind myself, thanks to Mr. Skiles who sent me the, uh, <laughs> the final score. She ended with 29. Yep. So there, all of her threes made me start thinking about the girls' three-point record held by Allison Neese, who's here. Ah, yep. And just in, in uh, one section of the stands, I can count. One, two, three, three pe four people with pictures on the wall. Five people with pictures on the wall. Probably so, yep. I'm going to go uh, Allison Neese, 2011. Yep. Lucas Hanselman, 2008. Yep. Michaela Stevens is going to be 2014-15 our uh, Northern State Conference champion. And then Ryan Stevens, 84-85 yeah. sectional champion. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of relatives there, you know. That's a they're almost good, all related. Just about, yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty good group there. Mason Herbert slipping there. Many uh, 
many of the, you know, we'll see the old timers, many of those that were watching those games back in the 84, 85 days. I was watching some of those games. His uh, Ryan went by radar. Everybody in the uh, everybody in the county knew him as Radar Stevens, the point guard. As they call the travel there. Growing up, I it took me a while to learn his name because my dad and mom both referred to him as Radar. Yep, yeah, absolutely. I think that was uh, that nickname was dubbed by the uh, the original Mr. Stevens, Mr. Ron Stevens, who coached that team. Another foul coming here, going to the double bonus. Trying to see who else, who else be here with uh, with a picture on the wall as we. Scott Zayner's here. He might be in some of those wrestling pictures from the 2000s. Probably so. I don't know. If Scott caught it. Was on any of those football teams from the early 2000s in his young uh, he years? He was. Yes, he was. He's yeah. definitely in the hallway. Yep. Definitely in the hallway. I would say uh, Collins' picture. Yes. Collins Stevens probably in the hallway as well. He's I in know the he, hallway. He quarterbacked a uh, sectional championship team. He would have been in the seventh grade in the 2008 year, and he had just graduated by the 2014 boys' yeah. sectional. So okay. just missed that. I see Miss Amanda Minnick. She was a sectional champion of girls' volleyball. Yeah. There's probably a few others in there. Probably so. I think uh, Amanda... Amanda's probably one of our few who um, played on a sectional championship team and then turned and coached one. Yeah. She won a volleyball sectional championship as a coach as well. We could do a whole whole portion of yeah of the who's who. Of the who's, the who's who, who's. right. Lots of emotion going on Turnover, here. yeah, the turnover there. Seth Martin got uh, clipped on a screen. Fans weren't real happy with that. Uh, then we get a turnover. Cavs have the ball down six, looking for some offense. Here's Jalen King from the corner three, no good. Ball tipped around. Lakeland Christian looking to push. There's a trip from behind. I don't, nothing intentional there, just got feet tangled up. Yep. Um, we got to take. Uh, that's going to put Hunter Rice at the line. Everything from here on out for Lake and Christian will be the double bonus. Like I said before, this is kind of where the Cavs have found themselves the first three games of the year, giving up two free throws uh, early in the first half. First free throw is good. One of the things that I love about uh, having having this on RTC is that the officials do not want you to put on the board how many fouls they've called in a half. So they, if they once it gets to 10, they say stop. 10. No, I get that. Yeah, so uh, we, no keep, we, we keep, keep a track. Tally. Yeah, that's got to be 12 or 13 for us already. It's 11 for us. Oh, it's 11. Okay. I'm on one and off. Here's Mono Ortiz on the attack. Two feet on the ground. Great shot. Tough fadeaway shot. Knocks it down. Cuts the... Uh, Lead to six. Let's take a look at that on the replay. <laughs> oh. Cavs going to cause a turnover there. Get it back. Uh, that was from the shot before. I'm sorry. I apologize. Now we could take a look at it here. Great fadeaway as he looked to attack there. There's a lob to uh, oh Jalen King didn't didn't finish. Here comes Lakeland on the push. Over on the corner to Rice. Kick to Rice. Rice likes to attack from there. He has not pulled the trigger from deep yet, but Here comes Ethan Keller with it. Mono Ortiz in the corner. Rotated to Reno Zaney. Rice averages 11 and a half points a game, so. Yeah, he's a solid guard. <laughs> Turnover by the Cavs. Coach, uh, Coach Evans is in that, that official's ear. There was that stutter step we talked about. Yeah, that's that quick step. Normally gets called. Cavs with it. Going to come back offensively. Ethan Keller with it. Ethan's the primary ball handler this year. Ethan's pull-up three is no good. Shane Schumann needs some new shoes. <laughs> He's been on the floor a little bit tonight. Seth Great Martin. steal by yep. Ethan Keller, Keller there with the take. Mono Ortiz running a little deflection and Ethan uh, with the finish. 
didn't go for the dunk like we had hoped. But well, maybe next year. When you're 5'10". Uh, <laughs> Here's another steal by Ethan Keller. Great he, pass to Mono Ortiz. Ethan gets a rebound to clean it up and doesn't finish. I think Coach Evans is happy with the pace. He'd like to see us get up yep. and down a lot here. Uh, no, he called a timeout before the shot. Yep. Well, here's Mono Ortiz on the run out. Kind of a unique play there. See if up they should be calling a timeout coming here. Yep. I don't know. They're going to let they him go here. Miss, miss their basket yep. and then get a turnover yep, and get score. Get a quick turnaround. A Here's, thought Martin was going to pull from there. Oh, here's a quick three. And Who two. is that? That's going to be so, Landon yeah. Goss. Goss. Yep. He was pumped up after he, that. Yep, he liked that one. He extends the lead to five. There's a ball screen by Reno Zayner. Mono Ortiz from deep. No good. 16-21 with three minutes left here in the half. And there comes like the timeout. Lakeland, Lakeland Christian will call yep. a timeout. So we'll take a short break, and we'll be right back after this. Welcome back here to John R. Nelson Gymnasium. Your scores: Culver 16, Lakeland Christian Academy 21. Three minutes left to go here in the first half. Seeing an interesting half of basketball, very physical half of basketball so far by both teams. And Lakeland Christian is doing a great job getting up and down the floor, but uh, Culver is definitely making some strides here. Rice will have the ball. Move it around. Does a great job of looking yeah. to attack that rim yeah, and attack it hard. Ethan Keller with another steal. That's four in about two runs. minutes. Yeah. The trail. Let's see if he can put it in the bucket. Yeah. Here's Shane Schumann on the block. That's a good place for Shane to catch it. Didn't quite finish. Reno Zayner with the offensive rebound. And one. It's about the most emotion you're going to see out of Reno on a play. Cal and Megan doing a great job running our software and keeping stats. Three-point play completed by Reno. Cuts the lead to two. Ethan Keller getting a quick break. Joey Pizer coming in for the Cavs. We'll see who can step up defensively here. Yeah, Ethan's been kind of leading the charge. There's Joey putting some pressure on. Skip pass. Gauze yeah. gets it up in the corner. Yeah. Oh, he He'll put up a three. Yep. No good. Martin with a rebound. Great rebound by yep. Jalen King. Jalen clears for the Cats. Mono Ortiz is going to uh, do the ball handling here with Ethan taking a break. Ooh. Mono nearly there. pulled the trigger on the pull-up. Oh, he's going to kick there by Martin. As a student, I don't ever remember a high school game being as intense as they are now. And it could be because I, I've been a coach since then. But Yeah. It, it is, it's, it's definitely the pace of play is increased, intensity as well. Good job by Shane Schumann. Schumann from the block. Ties, it's a tie score at 21. We cannot leave our Cav feet defensively. Cav Cavs are uh, wreaking some havoc on the press. There's the uh, kick out. Nope. Reno Zane taking a steal on the baseline. Cavs on the push, and Jalen King's going to double dribble there. Jay, that's that uh, make a decision and commit there. Jalen was looking ahead at Joey Pizer. Um, it was a quick decision. Zip that pass or keep your dribble and keep going, and uh, he got stuck in the middle. Ethan Killer quickly back in the game. Coach talked about the beginning of the year. He had to sit down and have a little – one-on-one -on -one with Ethan. He said, Ethan, you're not going to be able to come out of the game. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he goes, we're we're going to need you the entire time. Yeah, yeah. And, and especially in games like this, they're going to be tight. we got to have some ball handling. 21-21 here. Cavs on the push. Cavs are looking to establish a little, little uh, establish a post presence here with Shane Schumann and Reno both in the game. Going two in there. Yep, Schumann's working the block side to side. Here's Joey Pizer down the lane. Make a decision. Yeah, there's he that. did, I guess. Probably should have committed to try to finish that. There's Martin with a wild shot. Yeah. Probably going to get Martin over the back there. 
Ooh, that foul's going to go on Joey Pizer. Um, a wild shot by Sheen, not Sheen Martin. A wild shot by Micah. No, still wrong. Seth Martin in the lane. And uh, then he was over the back. Coach, but, is Coach shoot two free throws. <laughs> Coach Evans chased him on the baseline. Yep. And then walked step for step with him up the sideline as he reported that foul. Yep. <laughs> Joey Pizer comes out of the game, replaced by Marquez Anderson. 50.2 seconds left here in the first half. LCA up by two. It's a really unique look for the Cavs. We've got three bigs in the game at the moment uh, with Schumann, Anderson, and, and Reno. Marquez is going to move himself out to the perimeter. Oh. Oh, this official's calling the shot off. Thought the whistle was after the jump stop. That's usually a continuation, but uh, they're going to call it on the floor. He's going to get two free throws, or he's going to get one and one here. Cavs need to take advantage from the free throw line. Let's take a look at that, just because we can. <laughs> get a replay. I like it. First free throw is good. I think it was right. The body, the contact came before the shot. Right. The hand went up after he was in the air. Yeah. Both free throws good by Ortiz. Mono makes up for it. Jalen King. But they're going to call some sort of violation out of their pocket. What was that? I did. I turned my head. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Okay, so they're going to call a uh, call a foul on Shane Schumann there on the being too aggressive, boxing out or attempting to rebound that free throw, which we made. Um, free throw counts, ties the score, but it's going to put. Um, There's an opportunity for three points with the and one that we got limited to two, two points, points with a double bonus and then that they then back, turned yeah. into one point. Yeah. And puts Goss at the uh, free throw line. He makes the first. I know who our assigner is. <laughs> and I can tell you, he's a very great, he's a great guy, but so far, not good. 30 seconds left to go here in the first half as the Lady Cavs, or as the Lady Cavs, as the Cavs yeah. have to battle through some adversity here. See if they hold they're this gonna, ball for I think they're gonna 20 hold for seconds. One and, uh, See if we can either tie it or take the lead. Bucket here would go a long way for uh, momentum. Don't touch anybody. Don't look at anybody and hold yeah. your breath. We've got nine seconds left. we got Jalen King, top of the key. Tamano Ortiz. We need to get something going towards the basket right here. Here's Ethan Keller down the lane with the floater up and no good. So at halftime, the Cougars have a two-point lead. Cavs have a lot to talk about. Yes. <laughs> we'll be right back to talk to you here in about eight minutes. You're watching RTC TV. Welcome back, Four. ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin the second half tonight, we would like to honor the memory of a Culver staff member who has recently passed away. Miss Tia Romig passed away after a long battle with cancer. Last week, she was 24 years old. Uh, I went to school with Tia. She was one of the nicest people uh, that you can meet. Not only was she an alumni of Culver Community High School, but uh, she came back and she was a teacher here or, or an, uh, an aide here for a couple of years. And uh, she will be deeply missed. And uh, so, so just to uh, honor the memory of Miss Tia Romig, we'll take a moment of silence here on RTC TV4. Thank you. So your score here, Culver 23, LCA 25. Minute and 43 seconds left until the half. We are having all kinds of trouble tonight with the clock camera. So. Thank you. We will do our best. 
to make sure that you're seeing the time. It seems somehow to be like vibrating and tilting. Wiggling, yeah. So we'll get like maybe a portion of one, it. you know, one minute and ten seconds, <laughs> but we won't see the the three to make it one thirteen. Yeah. Got, uh, Megan's done a good job of keeping my uh, attention turned towards that. Make it. Megan is a very good attention getter. She was waving at me as I was running late getting back from halftime. See, it did it again. Right. I don't Here's know what happened. Producer. Oh, no, it's, it's right. Sorry. No, it's not no, right. it's not right. That table must be vibrating or something. Let's, let's pull this table away. Let's see if that helps. Help. Got, uh, both teams coming out at half. I think both coaches probably had some good things to talk about. Um at halftime, but I'm sure they both made some changes. Uh, Coach Evans is going to come back out with his uh, starters, I believe, um, if we get Jalen King on the floor. Uh, here he comes. Looks like uh, LCA is going to come back with their starters. Gagnon's going to come back in. We didn't see a whole lot of him in the first half because of foul trouble. Uh, I'm sure they're glad to have their big man back on the floor. I think uh, Jalen put something on his arm there, some muscle, something, mm -hmm. and he had it on his hands, so he had to gotcha. grab a warm-up. Yep. We're doing that every game. Yeah, that's right. Every time. There's Jalen on the take and a score. Ties it back up. Cavs apply pressure. A little lob Martin. there to Martin. A lot, a lot of steps when he came down, too. They're, They're going to get that foul on. Ooh. Foul on Martin. No, they're going to call that on Gagnon. Oh, wow. That will uh, be his third. Which is, uh, it actually puts uh, LCA in a tough spot because the, uh, they're going to bring in the freshman, uh, Micah Martin. And this is going to be Micah's last quarter because ah. he played two last night. Uh, and he's played in both quarters already this evening. So I'm glad you're on top of that. Huh? <laughs> If I'm Marquez Anderson, I'm attacking Gagnon right Absolutely. now. Get that fourth get, get foul. The get to him. There's he can uh, sit Mono for the rest Ortiz of the game. At him. Coach Evans looking for that call. Whoa. Cannot leave our feet Good defensively. I agree. Oh, there's a reflection by Ethan by Keller. Ethan Keller. Coach Evans looking for the push. Coach Evans is still looking for us to uh, get after the big man and attack here. Here's Ethan Keller. To the hole, kick out Mason Herbert for three, no good. Good box out by Hunter Rice. Now Hunter on the attack. Shot no good by Landon Goss. Ethan Keller bringing it back from the Cavs. Let's see what we get here. Attack him. Yeah. It's a you're either going to get a free yeah, shot to the basket because he's going to back screen, off yeah. or you're going to draw that fourth foul. It's a win-win there. Here's the ball back to Marquez Anderson. Going to try to get a switch, but we don't get it. Mason Herbert pulls up from long range. Hey. Good. Coach Evans has kind of been waiting for Mason to come out of his shell. Yeah. Yeah. He's a guy that, that uh, you know, didn't play a false sport, uh, has in the past, and, and yep. didn't go – Health-wise for him very well. Um, so he uh, he doesn't play a fall sport and devotes all of his fall time to basketball and workouts. He's in here every day. Yep. And, and he's done such a great job and, and grown a lot. Of course, he'll get a foul get here. get a foul there. And it's, they missed one on the push prior to. He got pushed out of the way. But, you know, Mason's a, a good-sized kid. He's got a great left-handed jump shot. Um Last year was his kind of his, his showing out year. He scored a lot of points at the JV level, saw some limited varsity time. I think uh, Coach Evans is going to look for him to take up more and more of a scoring role as the year goes on. Ooh. Great sit and spin there. Yeah. Not necessarily the end of it. There's a uh, but. steal by Mason. Ethan Keller on the push. Gets Mono Ortiz Ooh, in the corner. How Nobody they saw that. that. Wow, yeah, you're going to see people lose their mind on that one. I don't blame Coach Ritchie at all. That is nope, a stop a, down the sideline. Yeah, I agree. You just uh, That's a fourth, fifth grade basketball play right there that doesn't get called. And, uh, and half just, the time it does. Yeah, just made it through a varsity game. <laughs> Mason Herbert for three again. No good. Martin with the rebound. 
We're heckling him at half court. He gets rid of it. Here's Rice. Cavs doing a good job getting after it defensively here. Yes. They're causing some chaos. Rotate, some rotate, rotate. Passes. Here's the freshman Martin for three. Just to put back. No, no box out. Good two, offensive rebound. Two Cavaliers standing underneath the basket with yep. uh, nothing to show for it there. Cavs up by one. 430 left in the third. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, Culver. Here's uh, it's kind of the open post look. Here's Mason Herbert for three again. There's that good touch from the wing. Ooh, here's a tip by Jalen King. Ball loose. Cavs come away with it. Ball to Jalen. To Mono Ortiz in the corner. Three on the way. No good. Hunter Rice. Yep. Does such a great, he's such a powerful dribbler. He is. He's a. Uh, and he draws those. Those, he, those he does, are yeah. fouls that are drawn by, by Hunter Rice. And yeah, he's a solid kid. You know, he, he's not going to get pushed around. Handles the ball really well. Dribbles it very low to the floor, which makes it tough to get take it from him. Here's Hunter Rice for three in the corner. No good. I'm going to step away for a second and try to tighten this uh, <laughs> clock camera. Yeah. Here's uh, Mason Herbert for again from the wing. Ooh, in and out. Mason's feeling it right now, looking to get that jumper up whenever he can. Here's Martin on the run. Good finish at the rim. Cavs by two, 3.30 to go in the third quarter. Ethan Keller with it, with a high ball screen. Mason Herbert thought about the three, got to the lane. Good finish with the left hand. Cavs looking to trap, trying to step through. It's going to be a travel. Good trap by the Cavaliers there, causing a turnover. Let's hope it stays. And I missed, I heard the crowd and saw Coach go nuts. I missed what happened. Uh, there was a, uh, got a little step through, got a travel call on the step through the, the uh, trap. It looked like a travel, but uh, there was also a fairly physical trap. Could have been called either way. There's Jalen King with the hop. Yep. 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 He can't, uh, Jalen can't go off two feet and land on two feet there. That is a travel. I thought that was pretty, pretty obvious. There was the stutter. Yeah, it was. There, there was the quick step. Yep. Didn't put he the was. ball down. Yeah. Let's see if they get it there. No, they're uh, going to call a foul there. Yeah. From behind, I have Pierce. If we're going to play this type of basketball, I'd like to see us get officials from <laughs> other around other areas that play this type of basketball. I yeah, up and down. We're, we're getting a lot quicker. of slow yep. basketball officials that are used to the to the Culver High School pace of basketball in the past, yeah. and this is just not an offense where we run that way. No, you're not going to see a lot of staggered sets and long possessions. Ooh, here's Rice from way out there. In and out. Reno Zayner with the rebound. Cavs with a four-point lead. Bucket here goes a long way. See where we go. Going to look down to Reno Zayner in the post here. And then uh, a quick turnaround. Here's Martin on the run. Semi one handed flush. Coach Evans not happy with the uh, turnover there. It's a, uh, a difference maker. Chance to go up by seven. Uh, we give a turnover and give up two easy ones. Yeah. I think now's the time for Coach Evans to. Uh, yeah, might get a timeout here and then uh, rally the troops. Got a moving uh, moving screen on Reno Zayner there. Cavs apply pressure. Blake, Blake 33 pass. 31. Deep three, no good. Mono Ortiz with the rebound. Looking to run, gets Ethan Keller on the trail. I'd like to see Ethan shoot that Make shot, to be honest with you. decision. <laughs> um, just a little bit of hesitation there. The ball screen to Marquez Anderson, to Ethan Keller. 
Here we go. Reno Zaner in the lane. Turn around, no good. Ball on the floor. We haven't seen any indication we're going to get a jump ball. I like that. When you got two guys tangled up like that, yeah. and they're rolling around on the floor, call the jump ball, get in this situation. Yeah. When you're calling fouls like that, if somebody comes in late or yeah, I agree. You know, if somebody's yeah. fault that somebody else fell down, then you got a different story. And we're going to get Marquez Anderson on the grab there from the side. We've got a lot of talking going on. <laughs> Coach Evans said, that's my job. They tell him he made a mistake as the official's uh, right in front of him. Yep, that's all right. It's all right. I love that. You, yeah. know, you got guys like, I think of football, you have Russ Radke who will say anything and do anything yeah. without any consequence. You know, yeah. They're, yeah. They're, it's no Brian Kelly at Notre Dame situation. We yeah. really don't like for you to yell. Could you not do that? Yep. Coach Evans, he doesn't care. <laughs> That's a uh, bucket on the baseline there by the freshman. Going to tie the game. Here's Shane Schumann with it on the post. Working. And one. Yep, gets fouled going up. But it doesn't fall, so it no and fall. one. You send send uh, Shane to the free throw line. Chance to put the Cavs ahead here. It's a minute two left in the third. Shane with a unique approach to shooting free throws. His uh, both feet are pointed at his bench. But first one was banked in and good. We'll take points however you can get them. Coach Evans won't turn them away. The only thing I can think of is Jackie Moon. <laughs> Makes them both. We're going to take it. We're, we, that might be something we start to teach because the Cavs have struggled from the free throw line mightily this year. So uh, making two of two, we'll take that at all times. Sit and oh, dribble. There's, a, there's a steal by Reno Zayner. Going to get a foul on Rice from the floor. He can't believe it. Coach Ritchie is just upset that he turned it over in the first place. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Get, uh, I might quit my job and become an official. <laughs> you get Rice uh, checking out on his third foul. Got uh, Ben Jackson checking in. Um, I believe that's going to put Ben Jackson in the same situation from playing quarters last night in the JV game. I'm not sure he's going to be able to play in the fourth quarter. So uh, LCA may have a uh, interesting fourth quarter here. Yeah, that's going to be a foul on Austin Zayner. That one, he knew that he knew that that uh, that that was coming. I missed that on the. I was adjusting the camera. Did he catch somebody on a the screen there? He went. He went up for a rebound that he was not in position to make and hit uh, hit a gentleman right in the face. And yep, that's a foul. He looked at the bench like, I've had a long week <laughs> and I want to take a seat. Yeah, time for a rest. This is the uh, Cavs applying pressure again. Ooh, we got Triple three trap. guys trapping there. That usually leaves somebody open. I'm going to get a whistle. Foul should be on Mono for the grab on the hand there. So. It's going to put uh, Lakeland Christian in the bonus. going to send Martin to the free throw line. If I'm uh, Emiliano Ortiz, I'm paying Oliver Morgan to switch jersey numbers with me. Because <laughs> yeah. I want to say number 10 and yeah, he's number 12. Absolutely. He wears 10 in football, yep. 12 in basketball. I've been trying all night uh, watching uh, Seth Martin's shoes. Are those snowflakes on the inside? Keel. Ooh, that's an interesting question. <laughs> it's a unique design. Here's the Cavs with it. 11 seconds left. They're looking to hold for one. Here's Jalen King for three from the wing. No good. Long rebound to uh, Lakeland Christian. Three seconds left. Uh, Ethan Keller gets a hand on it. Uh, ball goes out of bounds. Half a second left. Lakeland Christian's going to trigger from the uh, 
volleyball line. 0 0.5. They can, they can catch and shoot with 0 0.5, but uh, it's going to be a quick one. Let's see what we get here. Tyler, you're good. It's uh, Oh, we're going to get a look from the volleyball line, top of the key. No, we're good. So it's going to end 35-35 into the third quarter. I'm going to look at this replay. Now you got me curious on what is on Zach Martin's <laughs> shoes. Oh, we didn't get it. We're going to go into the fourth quarter here. Uh, tie. Team fouls. Cavs at seven. Uh, Lakeland Christian at three. Um, several players in the game with three fouls. So you, you probably see that come into play as we go into the fourth quarter. Both coaches, uh, I'm sure. No, both coaches have got mixed up lineups right now, I think, due to foul trouble. So uh, we'll see what adjustments coaches come out with. Uh, I'm sure Coach Evans is going to continue to uh, ask his team to apply some full court pressure. Um, Coach Ritchie probably going to look here to get his big man, uh, Silas Gagnon involved. He has not played a tremendous amount of minutes because of foul trouble. Uh, he is going to come back in here to fourth quarter, and I'm sure they're going to try to get him some touches to get him going. I think they're pinwheels. Pinwheels. That makes sense. Uh, I'm getting up there in age. You know, at this distance, pinwheels and snowflakes are similar. I think he wears those from the beginning of the season. Well, from after Thanksgiving until Christmas. Yes. And then he switches to the, the ones with the clover leaves on the inside yep. until uh, until March. There so. you go. Yeah. Shoes are. Uh, ooh, here's a steal by Martin out on the front. Oh, finished with the one hand. Coach Evans just can't be happy with that. First pass steal, um, guard to guard. The Cavs running some uh, you know, kind of a uh, weave at the top of the key. Now they're in the flex. Here's Marquez Anderson for three. Got blocked, partially blocked. Shane Schumann with a rebound. Going to be a jump ball. Lakeland Christian's got it on the alternating possession. It's uh, it, that could have been solved with Marquez's basket going into the rim. Yeah, I agree. That's you know, just the, a shot you need to make. That that's oh. varsity basketball. Yeah, oh. Indiana three uh, three point shot, no good by Christ Lakeland Christian. What is Lakeland Christian? The uh, Cougars. The Cougars. I've okay. said the Lions. Yeah, I, I, I've I said did not know their mascot. But it's I've said the Eagles multiple times. Yeah. Here's Jalen King on the baseline. Oh, they're going to count that one. That one. Are they going to? I think he. I think he signaled to the baseline. I don't think they're going to count it. No basket, he says. Oh, I thought he gave the motion with one hand there to show it good, but he did not. Huh? The Cavs ball, uh, baseline out of bounds, triggered by Ethan Keller. Here's the long outlet to Marquez Anderson. Fourth quarter, every possession is going to be important here. Here's Jalen King with it. Mono Ortiz in the corner. Look at, the look post at, the, to Shane look at the hook underneath yeah. by, uh, who is that? Marquez Anderson. That's, Shane Schumann. That's Another gauze. offensive rebound. That's Gauze grabbing and holding am, like an offensive lineman in football, I and they're going to get him for the foul here. Yeah, I'm shocked that uh, that the Cougars have not switched their big Gagnon down to guard Shane Schumann because Marquez Anderson is, is ooh, primarily playing on the uh, on the perimeter. Good uh, shake off by the official there as yeah. the out of bounds pass got a piece of him. I'd have called the violation on that one. <laughs> <laughs> like you reached over, sir. Yep. Here's uh, Martin on the push. Yeah. Jalen King with the steal. Cavs I would three attack on him. Two break. And Ethan Keller pulls it from the wing. Not there. Shane Shue, another offensive rebound. Kicks it out. They're going to get Gagnon here on the foul, on the clear out. Probably going to be his fourth. Good call. 
What were your feelings on extending the coaches' box in basketball? Uh, I like the coaches to move around. I'm, I, I think the uh, the vast majority of what the coaches do is talking to their kids. I like it that they can get where they need to get to. There's Mono Ortiz on the tape. Great Cavs tape. being Mono. aggressive here, getting in the lane. There's still a lot of basketball to be played. Yeah, That's a two-point game with six minutes to go. Six minutes to go, yep. You're going to see a lot of up and down here. But, uh, both coaches talking to their kids. They, you got to emphasize getting a good look on every possession here. Everyone you give up is a chance to uh, score points. Ortiz good from the first on the first free throw. Second one good. Here's Martin with it. Ooh. Yep. I don't think Coach Ritchie was real happy with that possession. We are going to be right back after this timeout. You're watching Cavalier Basketball on Culver TV. Well, Martins. we're back here. It's a tie ball game with five minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the game. Both teams are in the bonus. Free throws are going to play a big role in this game right here. You know, uh, probably the team that most makes the most free throws down the stretch is going to win this game. Uh, both teams have played pretty physical, and they're going to, uh, from here on out, there'll be a lot of free throw shot. Who is our stat keeper for varsity basketball, boys? Do you know? I, the only person I see holding a clipboard is Coach Nice, uh, AJ. Well, I take that back. Uh, Mr. Hostetler, our other volunteer coach, has also holding a clipboard. He may be keeping some stats. Nobody on an iPad? I don't see anybody down there on an iPad, uh, unless I'm missing something. Here's Rice. Baseline pull up. No good. Cleared by Mason Herbert. Cavs with it. Looking to take the lead. Game has slowed oh, down a little uh, bit. Ethan Keller. Good pull up from the uh, elbow. Shane Schumann wreaking havoc on the offensive boards again. Tipped out of bounds by uh, Lakeland Christian. Here comes uh, number two, Nate Nathan Remy. Remy? Remy. Here, I have it. Rymink. Rymink, that's Rymink. what Rymink, yes. I asked for that uh, <laughs> I did. pronunciation earlier. I did, too. I think there was a Rymink in the girls' game as well, right? There's also a Stonebreaker. Yep. Here's Mason Herbert with a good look from the wing. No good. Mason, Great uh, offensive Shane rebound. Schumann with another offensive rebound. Here's uh, Mono Ortiz on the uh, take. Gets fouled in the lane. Going to be a uh, shooting foul. Should be. Should be. A he didn't foul. signal it. Think gonna go one no, and it's one not a shooting foul. On floor two. I, know, I, I understand that's a difficult call, but if you've got both feet on the floor in the act of shooting there, I think that's a two shot foul. Ortiz good. Mono From says it doesn't line. matter. Doesn't matter to him. He's going to make that one anyway. Cavs with a one-point lead. We need this double victory tonight. Eh? That would be think go our, a long way for the programs. Our community, our schools had a long week it and has, a yep. stressful week. It's got to be a light at the end of the tunnel somewhere. Yep. Good turnout tonight, though. It's nice to look across to see the bleachers full. Here's Martin, top of the key three, is good. I felt defensively we've kept, we've held Martin. Yeah, we've, we've slowed and him down. I that's, wondered where that 16 the, points a game yeah, comes from, and the, he's going to show us. That's about the best look he's had tonight. I think it's Mono Ortiz. He got fouled field. on that pretty hard, too. Shane Schumann uh, overly physical on the offensive rebound there. Mono got fouled very, very hard on that box. His feet hadn't hit the floor yet, yep. and he had a, a, a butt in his chest. Yeah. Schumann's foul is going to put uh, the big man, Gagnon, on the free throw line. I think that's his first trip to the free throw line. First free throw, no good. Schumann with the rebound. Coach Evans directing traffic. Mason Herbert with it on the wing. Looking to the block. Got Shane Schumann on the block. Kick out to Herbert. Side to Mason Herbert. No Didn't look like good. he had his feet Schumann set. with the rebound. Block from behind. Pretty good block by Martin there. Now we're going to let him play underneath. 
Yeah, now it gets physical. That, that's the two-point game. Happens. Oh. Uh, then you get a touchy one there at the elbow. That's going to be on Mono Ortiz. It's going to be the tenth on the Cavs. Uh, put uh, the Cougars in the double bonus. It's going to be Mono's fourth foul as well. Might see uh, Coach Evans go a little offensive-defensive substitution here. 4.23 left to go in a game. Goss's first free throw was good. Extends the lead to three points. Second free throw is good. Are there, okay. any, are there any pews on the wall in here? Uh, I've got a brother over there. Kyle Pugh would have been on uh, Coach Barrett's head coaching sectional title over there. Kyle is here? Is that what you said, Kyle, right? Kyle, yeah, he he, uh, he is not here tonight. Oh, His picture okay. is on the wall. He was here, uh, he was here on uh, opening night. Ah, opening night he was in the in the back in the Nelson. One of my favorite people, Kyle Pugh. <laughs> Here's uh, Mono Ortiz back to the foul line. Cavs need two here. Got to lead this up to six for the Cougars. Week before th or week of Thanksgiving, uh, which I guess was his last week. Yeah. Ma Mono got a haircut on uh, Wednesday morning and came in and show or Tuesday night and came in and showed Coach Evans the next morning. He was so excited because Coach Evans said, "Your hair's touching your chin. You got to get it cut before <laughs> basketball season." So. Well, it's off his chin, still in his eyes. Still but. in his eyes, but <laughs> off his chin. So yeah. First free throw was no good. Second one was good. Lead is five. Uh, Cavs extending some pressure, looking to uh, with it. Here's Gagnon with it, top of the key, hands it off. Gagnon with it, yeah. There's Gagnon from the high post. Good feed. Shane Schumann. Kohler. Shane Schumann showing a motion that he usually doesn't show there. Yeah. Shane's a pretty nose to the ground player. But I, I honestly, I like seeing it. Oh, I, yeah. I love Here's seeing the, guys uh, get emotional, playing the game emotional. Yep. Here's uh, Mason Herbert with it on the left wing. Tacks the elbow, picks it up to Jalen King. There's that step again. Yeah, that, that quick step is just not getting called. I think that maybe that's something that, you know, officials get those memos and they have a meeting every year. Maybe that's one of the things they said they were going to leave out this year. Shane Schumann hustling back. He's, uh, Cougars with it up seven. This is a big possession for the Cavs. Good rally there stop. by Herbert. Yep. There's Goss for three, no good. King with it. Cavs need to push, need a bucket. 2.45 Coach, left to go uh, here. Coach Evans asking for a quick push. Mono Ortiz jumper, no good. <laughs> Next Crowd foul. erupts as Next Remick rebounds in the double that. Bonus. Yep. Six-point differential. Oh, that's a lot of steps in the lane there. Here comes the timeout. And Coach Evans. Uh, now it's a nine-point differential. Yep. Coach Evans not happy with our defensive effort there. Martin got in the lane. Uh, pretty easy finish there. I, th I th This is something that Coach Evans and I talked about a little bit uh, last after the, after the uh, Rochester game. And Coach Evans and I have kind of similar philosophies on, on the state of officiating in Indiana. But now we're having to call a timeout because they're not calling things. And, and the, yep. game, the way the game is being played has changed. And so we're, we're not getting those calls that we would, and now we're getting stuck. Yep. And we're, sure. well, what do I do now? Because there's been a whistle blown. Yeah. And so. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a unique change, and the, the physicality of the game has changed a little bit. And yeah. Unfortunately, physicality gets determined by the crew. It, yeah. That's a, I, that's a tough piece for consistency, and I understand that. Uh, each crew is going to be willing to accept a certain level of it, but it is tough. Um, and it's tough for a Coach Evans coach team who, uh, who um, is going to press and try to be physical um, that's going to determine what they're going to do. So the Cavs ball coming out uh, down nine, two and a half minutes left. This is an important possession. Um, 
they're going to need to get a good look here to uh, get themselves back into this game. This is probably the biggest lead that LCA has had here. Good look by the Cavs. They get it to Mason Herbert. He probably got fouled. <laughs> he got fouled twice there. Yep. Here's Mono Ortiz on the steal. Ball loose. Christian gets it back. Lead is seven. Two minutes left. Elkhart Christian is smart. They will run some clock here. Oh, there's a tip. Ethan, Ethan Sanders, Ethan Keller with the, uh, oh, the old Mono Ortiz from the corner. Double dribbled, but got away with it and gets fouled. That's a, uh, that's a unique approach. We've seen uh, several ball handling mishaps that have just not gotten called. It's, a, uh, it's interesting. Yeah, that's and, uh And the, the thing that, the re I guess the reason I'm outspoken about it is because it's it's not like it's against us. No, you know, it's, it's, it's across the board. They should have called that. Yeah, they should, they should have called that. Yeah. And yeah. On, it's on Culver. It, yeah. Free throw good. And that was a fifth foul on uh, Hunter Rice there. So... So the Cougars lose their uh, primary ball handler um, there. And like we mentioned before, their two freshmen. Uh, there's a body there's foul. There's a body foul and probably a travel on the drop. <laughs> but uh, You're right. They, uh, LCA right now could be having some uh, personnel issues with who they got left to play if they continue to be in foul trouble. There's Jalen King good on the take finish. by Jalen. That's what we needed there. I was worried that yeah, we, that's a good we wouldn't recognize yep. that we had two minutes left to go. And yeah, I agree. Now, now they're gonna now they're gonna emphasize it. Cuts the lead to four, I believe. I don't think that was a four point layup, um, but I could be wrong. Yeah, here's the, here's the fix. So, uh, like I was saying, Elkhart Christian or Lakeland Christian is in a unique spot because they're two kids they played on the JV team. Last night are out of quarters. They, yep. they have their warm ups back on and cannot come in the game. Their point guard just fouled out, um, so they're pretty limited on, on who can come in right here. Um, the, I, the, I the, think they're out. The five kids they have on the floor um, are are probably what we're going to see the rest of the way. Um, they do have a couple more bodies. Um, do down they? There. Yeah, they do. They have two players that haven't taken their warm-ups off yet that, that do have at least a quarter of eligibility. Gagging's so, in foul trouble, too. He's got four. Yeah, it's, it's not. Uh, oh, there's a travel. Are we going to get a travel? That's not his area oh, to call. That's, that's, that's outside of the, that's yeah. outside up top of the three-point line, but he's going to call it from the baseline. Yeah. That's. And I, I believe the sideline official was about to call a travel, yeah. too, I, and, and deferred to him. It's going to put Martin on the uh, on the foul line. Coach, uh, this, this <clears throat> very disappointed in this crew. Yep, that was a uh, – that it's a, this, this official closest to our bench here just stared down Coach Neese and said, I don't want to hear another word, then turned around oh, away from his game, not doing his job, and decided he wanted to have a staring contest. You've been official for that long. Yep, that's this one you, you look away from. Come on. Yep. Go, go! Don't, uh, don't be a part of the game. We need middle school officials as well. <laughs> Here's uh, Mason Herbert. No good. Rebound to uh, Marquez Anderson. Need those shots here. Yep. This is a place we need to look to six score. Point a game. minute left. Six point game. We need a good look. There's a good pass. Mono Ortiz ball blocked Outside. away. Hit that, Jalen. Jalen King needs to shoot that shot. Martin or Emiliano needs to shoot that shot. Here's Mason Herbert with a long three. No good. We're going to get Marquez Anderson over the back there. It's probably uh, – it wasn't a terrible look, but we had two or three better looks earlier in that possession. Down six, we need that shot to go up a little earlier. My mom texts me. She goes, you're pretty tough on that official tonight. <laughs> hey, at least somebody's watching. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the good news is somebody's watching. The bad news is – some people oh, are not free throw a little short from Gagnon there. That's that is the uh, that's the second free throw he short arm. If uh, if Coach Evans and the Cavs are paying attention, if we've got to give a foul here, we're probably going to foul him the rest of the night. Uh, they're going to call a timeout there. Yeah, they're they're going to Coach Richie's going to talk it over with his big man here and uh, try to instill some confidence. That so. is that is interesting there. The the uh, 
Most, most of the time you don't see a coach uh, call timeout when he's shooting free throws. Right. But we have concussion protocol for that. I, I, that's a, How tall is he? Ah, they don't list height? No, they don't. That's interesting that, uh, you know, Lakeland Christian called timeout there, and they didn't do anything in the huddle. They just... Uh, we got to get our camera guy to stop sitting down at timeouts. <laughs> We're missing a we lot of good great, things happening. we got some great the, dancing going on in the crowd tonight. Here's, here's uh, yeah, the second free throw. Yeah. North Maybe Judson, the timeout help. North Judson has a jumbotron. Ah, I think that's got to go. be next. Like we have that. room for it, too. Yeah, that's right. Here's the Cavs, uh, down seven, need a shot. Here's Jalen King, pull up top of the key. It's good. Timeout. Coach Evans going to get a quick timeout. Cuts the lead to five. Now, coaching, coaching wise, we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go defensive substitution here. We're going to put in some kids who can foul. Um, Joey Pizer's pretty good at it. I'd put him in, um, and he did. Joey has checked into the game, um, and it, as a coach here. You know, you, you want to get a quick foul, but you have to talk about who you're going to foul. Um, Seth Martin has shown he's a pretty good free throw shooter. If we can deny him the basketball, make somebody else catch it, it's the guy you want to put on the line. Um, I from, see, uh, from what I know of, of coaching high school sports, if I need something big to happen, I'm looking to Steven Pugh. <laughs> Whether it's a fumble recovery in the end zone oh, for a yeah. touchdown, yeah. whether it's a defensive stop on yeah, the two-yard yeah. line against Pioneer. Speaking, speaking of a kid who needs a haircut, um, <laughs> there, there's one. That, uh, I was watching the, uh, watching the uh, Cougars bench there, and their coach was taping Seth Martin's wrist. So coach must be trainer, too, because he, he has come out fully taped of his left wrist. Is that... Uh, that he's not a left-hander. State pr- state approved. I, I don't know. I, pretty good job to get a get a wrist tape there. Oh, Cavs leave one. Have that guide this hand. Goss has got it. We we yeah. need to give that foul quick. Oh, oh we get a that turnover. Happened. Timeout. We need to go with a quick push. We have two left. Here's, oh, Jalen King gets the ball taken away. And we give the foul, which we fouled the right guy there, but we really needed a shot on that possession. Offensive guys coming back in. Yep. We're going to get Reno Zaner and Mono Ortiz checking back in. Got uh, Nate Remink. Rymink. Rymink. Sorry, Rymink. I can't pronounce it. Going to the line. First free throw is good. He's a junior. He is a junior. He's uh, not quite as big in stature as most of the uh, juniors on the floor, but great touch from the free throw line there. Second free oh, throw. He stepped Should out. He a can't lane step violation. out. Like. That's going to cost him one. That, that's a uh, costly move there. Really would have made it a three possession game. I wonder if that was on purpose. <laughs> he wanted to retreat on defense, but he's got all the time in the world there. Cavs with 20. Ooh, the clock had yeah, started already. 22 seconds looking for uh, Mason Herbert. We're going to get a foul. We're going to put Ethan Keller at the line. That is probably not what Lakeland Christian wanted to do. See, here's, this is where it gets interesting. So we've got number 12 Alex checking in, Cook. Alex Cook. Junior. Junior. But Alex has not played tonight. This is his first minutes, 18 seconds in. Uh, an interesting uh, situation that they are in. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten guys on the roster. Yeah. And, and two, three and guys fouled out on the bench. Yeah. Well, they have two fouled out and two out of quarters. So they're down to one sub that, that can come in at this point. Now, if the Cavaliers can extend these 18 seconds, it could get interesting. Ethan Keller makes both, cuts red, the lead red, to red. four. We need to foul somebody. Ethan's going to grab somebody from behind. Um, it's going to be Landon, Landon Goss going to the line. Um, I, I don't, I don't like this situation when an when an opposing coach, either side, even coach Coach Evans, is calling for for 
the intentional foul in a red foul situation. I agree. Where yeah. you're trying yeah. to foul. You, you know it's coming. Right. You know if the official's coming. not yep. calling it, I'm going to foul yep. harder. I agree, yeah. And that that really falls on the officials it at does. this point. Because if you know one's coming, as soon as there's contact, yes. you got to get the whistle and you got to put them on the line. We talked about that last yep. uh Last game, we said a good a good coach will go over to an official and say, "Hey, we we're want we're foul. trying to foul yeah, here." You're gonna foul. We need a quick bucket here. Here's Reno Zayner on the block, shot blocked, blocked by Gagnon. Reno's gonna give the grab. Cavs down five with five point three. That'll be his fifth. Reno's gonna foul out. So, best case scenario here, the Cavs need two misses or one miss, can keep a two possession game, but two quick possessions it's going to be. Goss misses the first one. Coach Evans giving some, giving some instruction. You got Lakeland Christian has nobody up to rebound. This has got to be a quick go by the Cavs if they get it. We're going to get a timeout by Culver here. Six-point game. Yep. So down six, 5.3. Coach Evans is going to look for something really quick. Um, you're going to look for a Mason Herbert, Hermano, Ortiz uh, three here. And a turnaround for a quick foul. Earlier you talked about Amanda Minix being one of the few people to win a sectional and as a coach and a player. Yeah. She's won two as a player. Got two as a player. She's yeah, I two believe as a that. Player. Yeah. Sit 96, 95, and 96. Yeah, yeah. And I j just realized that those pictures are out of order, and that's oh. going to bug me for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Get Coach Zaner to have Trevor switch those. The... Uh, Trying to see if there's anybody else there that. We have had several, several players return to coach. Yes. Um, but I'm, I can't name another one that has played and won a sectional. There's Herbert on the make. He's not going to get the timeout. What, what? Game is going to end at a 51-54. Uh, Coach, uh, Coach Evans says his number one goal is he wants to compete every game. Yeah. And, and uh, I think we definitely did that tonight. Uh, I think we have a team that was, they were a lot more athletic than we were. Sure, sure. Athletic and and size-wise, they, yep. they definitely outflanked us size-wise. And I I couldn't be more proud of the, of oh, the way our guys played because watching that same group play against Rochester, which probably had a little bit better athletes than, than Lakeland Christian. Yeah. Uh, if we would have played this game last Wednesday, Lakeland Christian wins by 20. Oh, absolutely. And, and, so, and so rather than win by three here, I think we did a great job of, yeah. of competing. And sure. And didn't, didn't have any sort of lay down tonight. We had some lapses where we mentally lapsed, but, uh, but we competed all night. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back after this with some post-game stats. You're watching Culver TV and RTC TV. 